stop adjusting the phone like I'm not doing it. Like I'm slow. I wouldn't have to adjust it if you didn't do it. <laughs> so, don't get smart. What up, dude? What up, dude? With women telling me if I could get a dollar for every time one of y'all tell me, you okay? <laughs> you okay? No. Let me just. People out here drive like this. Y'all be at a four way stop. They be like, <laughs> I think it's my turn to go, but can I go? They look at you for permission to go at a four-way stop. But this is everybody know that the rule is is you get there first, you get oh to go God. first. Babe. Why? In Babe. Vegas, that they don't know that rule. It's, really it's, it's time for you. I'm just saying. People want to know why I have a slight case of road rage. This is why. You got a slight case of road rage, honey? It's a pinch, a salt pinch. Of road rage. Baby, if you do not stop lying, this whole car just gonna stop. And we ain't you gonna be able to, to get home. Anyways, so I mean, we ain't gonna I be able to start I'm it back up. Thank you. You lied. How'd you wish that on us? Why would you lie on yourself? You, you just, you just. <coughs> anyway, so literally every single time I do a video or a post with my husband in it, with Ty in it. People are like, oh my God, you need to stop posting him. You need to stop posting him. Somebody gonna take your husband. These women gonna come take your husband, girl. You better stop putting him up there. They gonna want him, they see him and they want him dead. Oh girl, like, I'm not mad at you or nothing, girl. Thank you, huh? Well, yeah, okay, you're right. Um, People make, this. some person made a comment like, oh damn, I ain't know she had a husband. He fine, like just, which is cool, because I know that, and I don't care. Like, if, I'll never get upset when a woman says that my husband is attractive. Like, I don't really care. I know that. I was pregnant two years in a row. For a reason. Duh. We was getting things going on about, around boy. here. Boy, I was... <laughs> but seriously, look, all jokes aside... You just cut over twice. Two years in a row. compliment, but I'm not a piece of meat that you can just <laughs> go to Walmart and buy whenever you're ready. Okay, you can't just come get me from the butcher. That's not me. I'm not a piece of meat. You can't take me from something that I don't want to be with. Like, I love my wife. I ain't going nowhere. You can't no piece of booty come and take that away from me. <laughs> y'all think I'm fine. Nah, y'all should have saw me back in the day. Okay, so I know what quality looks like. A quality piece of meat. A quality cut. It's my wife, so I'm good. I appreciate y'all for the compliments. <laughs> I appreciate y'all for the compliments and all of that stuff. You know, keep them coming. I, I need that, you know, boost me up, get me going. But at the end of the day, that's all it's going to be is a compliment. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, stop all of that, please. <coughs> and the thing, Out of the mouth of him. Please. And the thing is, it's so, like, I, yeah. did you just refer to yourself in third person? Yeah. No, but it's just like, it's really... We are going to do a video, not on this subject per se, like people saying they can take my husband, but just marriage in general, because people think that when you marry young, that it's automatically like difficult to be faithful and that every couple deals with infidelity. There are so many other things other than infidelity that marriages have to worry about, worry about and to deal with. There are so many other things and it's like, it's a difference between meeting somebody and your relationship being built on lust and being lust driven and a relationship where like it's built on friendship like y'all i told we already told y'all our story before like well we can reiterate it for all the new people yeah like we <laughs> basically we uh 
we we fell in love with each other over the phone long distance. Our our relationship started off long over the distance. Phone. It started off over the phone. Yeah, so we got to know each other before we knew each other, you know. So all of the other stuff just fell into place, you know. Our relationship was like catfish in a good way. Going good. Going good. Because both of us literally could have ended up just like off catfish and it was so crazy because when our family found out about it, they were like, what? Like, what do you mean? Because the way we met, it was Facebook. He slid in my inbox or whatever and was like, you know, talking about I was cute and stuff. But the way he came at me wasn't like normal dudes would come at you. Like normally dudes would be like, damn, no mama, you thick as hell. Like talking about my body or because I'm... <laughs> was cute girl but like you know speaking about my body or something like that but he just was talking about how beautiful i was and rico swap and he was i'm gonna i'm gonna lie i'm gonna lie antonio Banderas. <laughs> anyway um and so we ended up exchanging numbers and we just was like texting every blue moon you know like it was never at first it wasn't nothing it was it was touch and go at mm -hmm. first. Like every blue moon, like once a week, like oh what you doing? Nothing, and then it'll be like real. We wouldn't talk to each other for like a week. Yeah, was... and then I don't know what happened. No, one day I was bored as hell, and I texted him and I was like, "You want to talk on the phone?" And he was like, "Like at first he ain't text me back, and then you, he texted me, and I don't even remember. I don't remember what our text message was. I just remember that we got on the phone." And once we got on the phone, there was not one day that went by that we did not talk on the phone. Ever since that day. Ever since that first, and that first day we talked on the phone, I remember. The funny thing is, is that we didn't want to talk on the phone. Mm -hmm. She was bored as hell. Mm -hmm. I didn't trust her ass. Because I, I didn't it was trust already, him. It was already touch and go. And we so. both from the D. I'm like, man, and he like, and he fine too. I'm like, he ain't, he ain't worth two dead nickels on the weekend. So, I talked to him when I feel like I was it. like, man, she probably on that. She probably on that BS anyway. So I got on the phone. Usually, as a man, oh. as a man, you have to like put on this. Basically, you know, be like a representative when you first talk to people. Put your friends. I up. did not care when I talked. To, when I first talked to my wife, I know it sounds kind of rough and sound edgy. But I think that was the best thing that I could have ever did because now. I'm and then when he later. say when he said he don't care, he don't mean he was like, oh, what up, what up, what kind of panties you got on, or like disrespectful no, or nothing like that. that. I just didn't he wasn't care. trying to speak game or. I, I just talked. I didn't. I didn't care about anything. I didn't care about where she was from, trying to find out what she was doing. All of that stuff came after. Mm -hmm. I, I swear to God, I, the first thing I said to her was something stupid about clothes mm -hmm. or food or something. Like, it was something dumb. Yep. Like, the first words I ever spoke to her was something stupid. Mm -hmm. I just said some off the wall. Everything, it just, it just came out. I didn't care. And I think that's what made our conversation so deep the first time because at first, we was both like kind of trying to fill each other out, like kind of saying whatever, especially because we both from the same place. So we knew, like, what triggers was and what they wasn't but we was both on some stuff like i don't care because i had just got out of like a, a pretty bad relationship and it was like my my first relationship ever really and i was just like no like i'm not taking no bull crap for dudes and i had this list if any women are watching this and you've ever had your heart broken before like you make a mental list and anything that the dude who broke your heart used to say to you if a dude that you start to talk to says anything that remotely resembles it, you be like, nope, I'm not dealing with him. And, like, he had a whole new list. But y'all got to stop doing that, though. Because that, that, that man that y'all put on that list could not be the guy that you, he, that's not fair for making him pay for what that man did. You know, um, give that man a chance. As long as he ain't no killer, no crazy dude. Yeah. He ain't try to lock like He maybe just don't know how to there. spit aim right, but he could be the coolest dude ever. I got a cousin <laughs> right now, man. I ain't gonna bring him up. But dude is the nicest person you'll ever meet, okay? He ain't got he ain't got a lick of game when it comes to women. Like women use him all of the time. Mm -hmm. And it's annoying because he don't he don't wanna listen to me. But at the same time, I guess it's something that he just gotta learn. But then but even like for what I do for a living like a lot of people try to make it seem like 
oh, these dudes out here ain't worth nothing. These dudes, and a lot of them ain't worth two dead nickels on the weekend. However, there's women out here that are just as nasty, dirty, and grimy as these dudes are, like, for real. And I do some of that hair, bro. Like, some of these women are dirt. Like, I have women sitting in my chair like, oh, CN, don't know if it's to you, but I only date married men. If he don't have on a wet ring or a tan line from a wet ring, you know, like, I don't date, you know, I won't date him, you know, because if, if I take your man, I take your man. And it's just like the, the, the mental standpoint of America and where, especially black America, and I'm not, I'm only speaking on black America because I'm a black woman. Um, people really like me and Ty will get this all the time, even still to this day. Like Ty will be around a group of dudes, and it just so happens that he the only dude in the group that's faithful to his girl. But this is like at at the beginning, like when they all, you know, getting to know each other, or all like, and they're, oh man, like, like what you want? You know, your wife nigga, what's wrong with you? Like the the, the sad thing about it is, is sometimes it would be. Not even to air anybody's laundry out, I swear on God. But it would be like just regular conversation with like some of the dudes out here that I met up with. It'll just be, <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Like dudes will be like, oh man, so we gotta we gotta go do this and you know what's your side chick looking like? What's your side chick situation looking like for this weekend? And da 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 and this, that, and third. And I will feel out of place for not for being faithful. I'm like I don't, I don't get it. Like, why are y'all even married? Like, and that's what I don't understand. It's like, like to take the oath and to, to, you know, take all of that. Why stuff. go through all why that? Just be by that? yourself I until mean, you get cool. ready. I get it. I, I, I guess I get it. Like, you know, you got a, a nice, decent chick who you know been down for you for a minute, and you want to go ahead and snatch it up and get some sense of security. But, bro, like. I don't, I don't know, man. You just gotta hold yourself to a higher standard. Like, if you gonna be that guy, just be that guy. Like, don't commit to something that you ain't really committing to. And then don't, don't look at other people who actually, like, doing it, doing it. Like, as like they people literally <laughs> like make us feel like, like, oh, you square. Oh, y'all don't I'm like square. going out every weekend. So you want me to be miserable like you? You want me to, to to create a horrible situation where there is isn't one. Like, why, and then, would I, why would I do that? And then this is the thing that gets on my nerves. Like, dudes that cheat on their wives, they be like... Nah, hold on. Time out. Time out. Some of y'all women out there, y'all need to step y'all game up. That's okay? true. I agree. I'm going to put it out there like that. I agree. Some of y'all need to step y'all game up. If y'all If y'all women... You know what I'm saying? You think you got the ring? Oh, you legit now? Oh, you feel comfortable? Nope. That's just the beginning. I'm Get not yourself it. together and, and keep keep your dude happy. Like, I ain't saying do everything that he wants you to do, but at the same time, it's a marriage. <coughs> you have to get 50, he got to get mm -hmm. 50. And that ain't just talking about finances. Everybody think it's finances. It ain't finances. It's talking about half of yourself. So them days that you don't want to get up and get sexy when he want to you to be sexy, get up and do it. I bet money you will he'll stay right there. And right. It, and it goes it goes vice versa. And by that, before yeah. like the little crazy people for the grandchildren come in, what he means by that is like not like oh keep yourself together and looking good at all times. So like for example, we knew this couple. That's what I am saying. No, no, no. I'm putting it in the I'm putting it in the right context, babe. Because you just real blunt and you ain't anyway. Oh, okay. So, for example, we had this. We know this couple, and when they first got together, she was like a size one, right? And he was in the military, so he like like cock diesel, right? If that's what you want to call it. Anyway, so they get together, and then they have a baby and she decides that the woman that she was when they met died she died and she ain't coming back now you just got this fat and like and i'm tired what someone say that and so no and so like to the point we're not being funny like one time 
because this couple they ended up they were stalkers that's another story um and so they had moved in the same complex as us when we had when we were living in our apartment and so my mom had came over there and my mom comes over there and my mom drives past and she's in the car eating double cheeseburgers two of them two of them with fries who are you who are you? i can't do that i can't put that back right now like Bro, what are you doing? But she used to do that like on a regular basis, that and was then, hard. That and was then, hard. and then on top of that, she was rude to him. Like she used to be cussing at him all the time, putting her hands on him, like being extremely argumentative. It was just like not. Not only have you completely changed the way that you look, but you've also changed the way that you treat him. They weren't having like we grown. If you not, I would advise you to turn being, this off. They weren't being intimate. Yeah, they weren't being intimate at all. Like, and if it was, it was like, oh my God, like, would you hurry up? Like, hurry up. And I, I'm a firm believer and I'm a realist. And there's other women out here that may feel differently. But just because you get married does not mean that you're not human. You don't walk down the aisle and recite those vows to each other. And then be like, okay, here's my humanity. My eyeballs don't work anymore. This doesn't work anymore. When he first came across my page and was like, hey, damn, girl, what up? Like, I looked a certain way. I'm not trying to say that I haven't changed or, like, I'm not the same size that I was when we got together. When we first got together, actually, I'm smaller than I was when we got together, actually. Um, not on purpose. It's just what happens. Um, but I just made sure, like, at the beginning of our relationship, I wasn't the best wife in the world because I didn't know what to do like we got married young i'm like wait a minute player what do you mean i have to consult you before i do things what do you mean that this is like you when the honeymoon stage is over and he leave his drawers on the floor you know what i'm saying right That's after real. you clean up you feel me or like he just leave his plate on the side of the bed do you get up and step in the bowl or wrench you feel me like yeah, player. It's happened multiple times, player. No, I'm making that face because you act like I'm the only one who did it. No, no, no. I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, no. I'm no. just using that as an example. Uh, I'm not saying uh, you was the only one who did it. Yeah, I guess. Like, bro, like, and don't get me wrong. Like, I love this man. He is my best friend, but he gets on my nerves, bro. Oh, and vice versa. <laughs> But if you, but you have to have a friendship, and with with friendships, like for example, and there not only is. That, but you have to be able to communicate mm -hmm. your friendship. You have to be able to. That was everything. You have our to, communication together. You have to communicate. You have oh to. If so, if she's getting on my nerves and I don't tell her she's getting on my nerves, and be real with her. I don't get on his nerves. I there's no you know it's there's. There's where you always run into that wall. Mm -hmm. You can't be fake in a marriage because it's there. It's right in your face. It's slapping you in the face. Stanky breath. Stanky booty. Stanky everything. It's who right got, there in your face. Who got stanky breath and stanky booty? Nobody. So, the, the, the marriage got so, stanky breath. That's what oh, I'm saying. I'm it's, say. <laughs> it's right there in your face. You have to you have to address it. You can either brush your teeth or you can ignore the stanky breath and somebody else gonna brush them teeth so yeah <clears throat> but seriously and it's just so much more to marriage than that and i think that's the parallel that y'all need to learn there's a difference between a couple that just saw each other walking out dude that saw a chick walking down she's like oh damn you think it's him and then they just start messing with each other and having sex with each other so much that it that feelings get involved that's not what this is that's not what this is we, me and Tyrell, like I said, we were long distance and we talked on the phone for like three months, right? Yeah. Before we actually met in person. And then, by, I graduated from cosmetology school. We're going. We gotta go get cough medicine for everybody. Okay. Let change. Okay. So, I graduated. Okay with you. Yeah. So, I graduated from cosmetology school and that was my gift to myself. Like, that was my gift to myself. Like, I was like, ooh, I'm gonna go to the gym. See him. And it was so funny because I had my cousin on speed dial. I'm like, I'm about to see him, and he looks super fine and super delicious, like a whole snack. Um, well, I, I didn't say snack. I don't remember what I was saying then. I said, but, um, hold on real quick, get up. So, I'm like, but listen, though, no, I don't know if he going to be looking like the dude from the pictures. You feel me? This before Catfish even came out. I said, so, I'm going to text you. I'm going to text you, oh, hell no. Nah. And if I text you, oh, hell no. Nah, 
come pick up your boy. But then I got hold on. I got out the when I I came out of the the little slide doors of the the yeah boom thank you Zani. I came out of the terminal doors and he had on his gray pico. You still got that pico somewhere, don't you? Anyway, he had on these uh this gray pico like just looking like a I mean like a whole like snack. And I remember looking at him and like dead ass these are my exact thoughts i was like what have i gotten myself into he ain't shit just because like my my mental standpoint when you've never when you've never had like a really really good man before you match a attractive man to one that ain't worth two dead nickels on the summertime you feel me so anyway i saw him and he turned around she can't be rolling up on me like that bro we are not in Detroit anymore. We live in matter, Las Vegas, bro. Nevada. My senses still work. It don't matter. In the next 20 minutes, we may see four other black people. Maybe. So? Like. My senses still work. I don't know why I said that. Because I'm more nervous when other people walk past my car than I am when our people walk past my car. Can you anyway. So, I know. You the one who's complaining at the lady. Pulling up at one. Anyway, so we like whenever we whenever like we finally met up and stuff like when he turned around and he saw me and he could tell I was looking all cute and stuff he was going to explain it and stuff and like I don't know just like ever since that day that's what is that's what it's been and like the stuff and that he's dealt with with his family I've been there the stuff that y'all know about with my family he's been there through the entire process this man don't let nobody disrespect me. He don't let nobody say nothing out of the way to me. Like, nothing, ever. So, it, like, put a, a, a damper on a lot of stuff. And then, on top of that, on top of all of that, before we get out the car real quick, then we're going to come back. On top of all of that, like, he was the one that was there when my father died. Like, all of the big, huge stuff. We had a child together that was four months early. We had a baby in the hospital together for four months. We have been through... So much, I mean, repossessions together. Hiding our car, not paying our car note because we ain't had the money for it together. Phones getting cut off together. My mama having to pay our rent for months, like two, three, four months straight because I'm trying to build my career and I got $280 boot rent and he got an entry level job because we were both at the beginning of our career and he got to pay my boot rent and our, what, $1,200 rent. And what two hundred dollar car note? That sound great right about now, but at the time, no. You know what I'm saying? Like we went through all of that together, and now we are in a place where we can just like sit back. <laughs> and I don't even know how to feel. Like we was talking about that this morning. I, I just, but I'm like overwhelmed it's like with the, grateful. All of the stuff that we prayed for. What seven years ago? Seven, seven, eight years ago. We have now. We getting, we getting now. Wow. <coughs> eight, uh, seven, like the number of completion. Completion. Ooh, and they say seven is the number of completion, the and and of... they be like seven year itch too. Yeah. So we itching our bag. I'm itching right now. <laughs> I don't, I don't think that's how they make you, Daddy. Hey, it don't matter. But yeah, you guys like. If y'all don't take nothing else from our little vlog mm -hmm. before we go up here in this Walgreens, it's like... Gotta go get some cough medicine. Yeah, my son got me nothing. I am not sick. Anyway, I, oh, I you just... Sick, sick. You ain't getting no more kisses from me, boy. What she talking about? If I'm gonna kiss, you're gonna give it to me. No, and I'm I not. think they saw that yesterday. Yeah, that was before I knew you were sick. You know I don't play that sick stuff. I don't care how cute you is. Oh, you think I'm cute? I don't like being sick. You think I'm cute? I don't like being sick, sick. But yeah, so in closing, um, this is the very last time we're going to have this conversation about this in particular. We're going to talk a little bit more no, about it's not. our marriage and no, stuff. It's not. No, it's no, not. no. Because I'm fine. And, like, no, no, no. And all right to feel the way that y'all feel. Tasha, but at the, same uh, time, like, at the same time, look, we can have this conversation a million times. I just heard the that same was gross. I'm going to tell you the same thing every time. I'm not a piece of meat. I've always taken... What is that? Is that something on my face or is that the phone? It's the phone, baby. Oh. 
I take pride in not being a cheater because I was raised by my grandmother. So I never had a mother and a father. And I hold that to me dear. It ain't got nothing to do with my wife when it comes to me not cheating. It has, of course it got something to do with it, but at the same time, it's deeper than that for me. So me being a good husband, me being a good father is my first priority. And everything else, I guess, can fall into place. So yeah, stop, because <laughs> it's not gonna happen this way. This, uh, this over here ain't going nowhere. Okay, so. What is that? My finger is just. Yeah, I just got it. I just got it fixed. Oh, I wasn't talking about the ring. It was something on my finger. It was itching. Anyway, I just got that fixed for a reason. It's, you know, I just got a ring fixed. She probably about to get upsized in a couple of years. So. But no, I just decided, like. I'm good, love, enjoy. He's my best friend. And, and I really, really pray that women who who feel looking? that way Fine. I hope, I hope you find dude. it because whenever I see a woman I bet it ain't me <laughs> Keep your life. I got enough nonsense <laughs> to her what I look like looking like stepping with you no I you got enough wig for me I got enough nonsense nonsense is she crazy I can't handle two crazy two three four crazies no I got one That's actually enough. you got two because your daughter Listen, and let me tell y'all this before we get off the out the car. Listen, he couldn't cheat if he wanted to. My daughter reads his text messages. She can read now. Yes. And speak Spanish. I, he like they pick. He, so she he can pick, tell her mama in Spanish that I'm cheating. It, like I'm not about to take. I ain't gonna understand what she's saying. I need to get my good, life. Ain't nobody that good enough. But dude, like, like I got in the car. Bill was like, somewhere? I got in the car. My daughter was like, Leave me alone. Mommy, I saw the text message you sent, Daddy. Would you shut up? Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> you shut up so I can finish my statement. Oh. That's what I'm talking about. This is marriage. Marriage is you're not able to complete your sentences because. <laughs> they not listening and they not paying attention. He's annoying. Big. He plays. He <laughs> likes to play 2K. He ignores me. I could come in the room. You want to be out in the club? You don't want you to be out in the <laughs> club. Let me tell you something. You Let me be out there hustling for them husses. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anyway. Oh, that is funny. Anyway, let's be very clear, okay? This is it. Do you understand? This is it. If you get tired of being with me, you better do like the old rich white people do and you better go upstairs in that other bedroom and it is what it is. Because this is it. You got me pregnant two years in a row. This is the end of the road for you. I'm just kidding. Because I make all jokes aside. Um, when it comes to a uh, part, could you stop tapping? When it comes to marriage, it was when it comes to marriage, it's like a complete and total partnership. And a partnership is something where both people put in at least 50% to make one whole. But I feel like, in my opinion, for a real, real successful marriage, both parties need to be giving a hundred percent. I am going to smack you. Y'all can have them. He don't pay attention. He is he petty. He got mental. He's he listen. He look. He plays so much that our children. No, I don't remember what I was saying. Why are you interviewing me? They don't need to know all of my business. They not getting me. Can you please tell your statement? Come on. You got booger in there. Did you get it out? <laughs> no, <laughs> bro, go. On. That's nasty. I'm just oh, you see what I mean? Like, all he does is play, like all all day long. That's all he does is play. Can you oh, anyway, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Thank God for editors, cause you're annoying, bro. Like, I feel like for a marriage to be successful, both people have to be giving a hundred percent, and. I feel like a lot of times, like for example, and it's not just for women. Ooh, women need to keep themselves up too. Men need to keep themselves up too. Like, sir. I'm fine. 
I'm not talking about you. Oh, buff. Bagwell. Anyway, um, I just feel like. <laughs> and I got. Uh, could you please shut up so I can finish my statement, bro? Like me, and don't be walking into the relationship looking like interest, and then five years into the marriage, you looking like Fat Albert. That is not okay. No, it is not okay. I was chunky though. But but Look, we have, both got chunky have, together. When you have kids and you happy, don't let that be the death of y'all sexy, because that's what happened to me. <laughs> she almost caught me. She tried to get me when she was pregnant and stuff. Boy, we used to be fat, fat. We, <laughs> boy, <coughs> y'all know them Intamin uh, glazed donuts, bro. And, and we used to smash. Oh some my food. God, you hear bro. Me? We used to be like, look, we used to smash, you used to get smash. off work and used to come home like, where the cookies and shit. Man, for real. Like, don't let that be the death. Honey buns. Bro. We was fat, but, fat. but, okay, like, like dead ass, that was our struggling time when we really ain't had money like that. But, breakfast, McDonald's. If we did, if we went at work, it was like a day off, middle of the day, but, I don't know, probably McDonald's again. Man, we used to be. Or some fast food place, like breakfast, lunch, and dinner up, and then we would do canes, or you name we it. We would go to. Going out to eat. Uh, Rita's. Man, what? And go get, like, tubs of freaking Italian ice cream, like, uh. What a couple of fat asses. Dude, we was fat, fat. I ain't had McDonald's in years, bro. But, bro, that Rita's, though. That Rita's. It's like good. shaved ice, Lord, and it's Lord. Italian shaped, like, you having flashbacks. Look at you. Look at you. Fat girl flashbacks. Look at you. And listen, and then, and then I can cook, too. Yeah. I can cook. So, I'll be like, baby, what you want? He'll be like. Because her mama can burn. <coughs> mama Sin can burn. Look, we going to end so with this. So, that made it worse. I'll be like, babe, well, what I'll you want for dinner? You'll be like, Chicken with some barbecue sauce. I wouldn't like that. Don't do me like that. Hey, hey, put some bacon on it. I ain't never been that <laughs> fat. <laughs> I ain't never had no requests like that. I've always been like, I don't know, I don't care. And then you cook like a whole meal, I'll be like, sure. And I was, I was making like ribs and macaroni and greens and like on a regular basis. So, so but sweet. that's happy. That's happy way. Like we, even though we were struggling, we found peace and the stuff that we could peep this though. And then it wasn't that we had bread like that. We used to be on the dollar store heavy. What do you mean? It was, this was around the time the dollar store first started selling like produce and stuff like that. We yep. used to selling be heavy in there. That's why like in closing. Go shopping at the dollar store. Yeah, um, and that's why in closing, listen, like, I didn't pay my dudes in this industry and life with, with my marriage, everything. So, y'all, listen, social media, you can say whatever you want. Y'all are so right. People always make comments, and then if I respond, they be like, oh, my God, y'all influencers, y'all think y'all perfect. Y'all think y'all can just do whatever, and ain't nobody going, no, 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 listen. No, 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 it's not that. It's not that I think I'm perfect. This is the thing. You can say whatever you want. You are absolutely right. But listen, if you bring it to me, you better have a hard hat on. I'm just saying. Because to every action, my daddy taught me, to every action, it's a reaction. So if you make a comment, just be ready for the person's response. I'm never mad, ever. We just going to talk about it. I'm never mad. We just going to talk about it. Like, oh, girl, like, oh, I'm going to take your husband. Ooh. Ooh, she'll probably never have uh, another hairstyle. It's another hairstyle that's super dope here on YouTube. She's like, oh, I bet you she'll never have that hairstyle to brought her husband because she'll take her man. Listen, you cannot take my husband. Can you please explain to me how y'all can take this big old man? What y'all gonna do? Give me your shit. Come let's go. Come right on. goddamn now. Let's go. I got some good booty. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Come here. Come here, little boy. Girl. They're gonna, You're be, not the first one. <coughs> they're gonna be like, okay. wait, hold on. They're gonna be like, You're not the first one. we gonna be like, Marcus died. I'm not, a, I'm not a what in any pond. Like, what are you, bro? I'm not worried about you. Get a grip. 
get a grip on real life and if y'all want some marital classes on how to snag y'all man then let me know right leave some comments. you know leave some ask, comments and ask the question because ain't nobody gonna be taking my YouTube husband got a dm or a message box or something like that leave some messages so. ask some questions but just email me say hi hello because ain't nobody you? taking my husband how are you do it. And listen, I'm gonna post this man. Y'all stop it. saying that. I'm going to post this man anytime I feel like it. Just stop posting for somebody to take your man. What you gonna do? What you gonna come up? First of all, we live in the gated community. Now, first that of the all, that why don't you ask yourself in this question? Why don't you ask yourself this question? Why are you so insecure? That that's the first thing that's on your mind when somebody posts Boy, your Pastor, you why better. Don't you, why don't you? you know what I'm saying like don't. Don't do that. Don't <laughs> don't be so insecure with your past situations that you feel like that's gonna happen mm -hmm. to the next woman. That's not cool. Don't don't put that negativity on, on me. Else. Yeah. Don't don't label me as that guy who's weak minded enough to be that weak to fall for another piece of booty. Like I know what booty look like. I'm a grown ass man. I know what booty <laughs> look like. I'm not worried and about that. And I got a and I got a nice booty. Okay, so if she do, so I'm I'm good, bro. Like I'm good. And, and then to all the other fellas out there, and, and relationships, too, relationships. Like, like if to me, if you got a real solid relationship, like right now, we sitting in this car. If a pretty girl walks past, I'm gonna be like, oh my god, babe, look, she's so pretty. And I'm be like, I'm gonna look, and I'm gonna say, yeah, she's yeah, good. like cause we she cute. Every man not That's walking cool. around. <laughs> Who put pants down? She Ooh, nice looking. They put pants down. That's like, fine. like everybody's different, and every like, please take that mental synopsis off of marriages. And I feel like, once again, the reason to me, I feel like the reason that marriage is so. That's what I was just about I was, to say. That's where it starts. Because it's like to you gotta be like this as a man. You gotta. <laughs> I gotta see so many men where dudes be like. Oh man, we're trying to find a signal, and they trying to look at the girl while they while she mm -hmm. walking by with their phone. Like, I'm not about to be that guy. Look, That's I'm, gonna tell, dumb. I'm gonna tell my wife exactly what it is. I'm gonna be like, look, baby, I don't mean no, <coughs> but she nice look. She nice. She real nice look at it. She's real enough to understand. Like, hey, yeah, hey, she, she look kind of. She hey. look nice. And you wanna know why he she do that? Nice you wanna know why he do that, baby? Because I do it too. And then we don't. When he say that. Honestly and truthfully, just to be real, when we do that, when, like what he said, most of the time it's like somebody we see on TV or we ain't never really been like sitting in a car and a girl walk past and he been like, babe, she fine. Like, no. Nah, not, no not like that's, that. That's, that's disrespectful. disrespectful. Yeah. We talking about like, I know a girl who got mad when her husband said that Wonder Woman was pretty. Like, stuff like that. Like, that's insecurity on a whole nother level. And to me, that draws like negative energy into your relationship i don't have time for that and let me tell you something he already know baby anytime we go see the rock i'll be like hmm. or interest hmm. you can have his old ass or shamar Moore. Hmm. you can definitely have his old ass or his false teeth I'm being a hater. Because one day I'm going to have false teeth and I'm going to be just and you as you're going to be a snitch. So, so, so don't be a hater. Go ahead. Get a head start on it. When I say interest, wait, I got one more. I don't know why. What's the one? This is Sparta. Oh, Mr. White Man. You don't even know his name. Mr. White Man. Christian Bell. No, that ain't his name. Christian Bell. Batman? Uh, the skinny Batman? No, not. No. You talking about Gerard Butler. That's what I just said. Oh, I said Christian Bale. Christian Bale. When he was like, this is Sparta. You know how old he uh, is? I sure do. And I'm still fine. A machine gun preacher. He was in there too. Just looking like a whole snap, Lord. But, like, seriously. We should be able. You should be able to have conversations like this with y'all significant other without one of y'all feeling like the other one going to go. Try. What am I going to do? Like, let me see. I just feel like when you, when you able to do that and you able to be real, it's like... Why would you bring anything else into that? Because at that moment, it's just a thought. It's just it, nothing is manifest. Nothing has became anything. Nor do you more have than a, just a desire thought. to make it manifest. And it's like when you feel like you have to hide secrets from your significant <coughs> other for a thought. It's like that's not fair. It's you should be able to do that with one another. And maybe you know sometimes you guys who's listening right now should practice that. You know, try that with your wife if you know and 
If y'all, if you know she crazy and she insecure in herself, guess oh, what? You need to do better as a husband or a, mm -hmm. or, or or a fiance or a man and securing your wife, securing the bag. Okay, secure your bag. Secure your bag and let her know that you ain't doing nothing out there. So you ain't got to have those thoughts that could possibly turn into a situation. Because, because I feel like I never felt that way because even when, after we had our daughter, like, I was eating everything that came my way. Like, I would, we would be driving. You smell that? What was that? And so, like, after I had my our baby, like, I was a huge, but I wasn't small. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, I was small. I had, I ain't have a. Did I have a double chin? No, you didn't. It was right before. It was pushing. It. It was like. It was like. <laughs> you know how you hear like an echoes like starting. Hello, I'm coming. It was almost there, but it wasn't there. <laughs> But like, bro. But we both was at the time, man. We because was, we was eating together. Look, I used to happy. sit. I used to sit my plate on my stomach. You hear me? We was when happy. I was pregnant, not after that. But, but like, whenever I was feeling insecure about myself, it was a moment. Not telling too much of our business, but it was a phase of our relationship where. I wasn't confident in my body at all. So if you're not confident in your body, you don't think you look good anymore, especially compared to what you look like when y'all first got together. I'm like, I don't want to be taking my clothes off. And I don't want to, like, I, sexually, I just wasn't, like, motivated to do anything. And he went over and beyond to let me, without giving me all need him. <laughs> he went, like, over and beyond to make me feel beautiful and even when i started losing weight and when i made like like when i started making drastic changes and stuff like he was kind of like i mean if you want to like you can if you want to it was never like oh babe like you gonna put the chicken down oh babe you should probably only eat three pieces instead of five. Oh babe you should you know what i'm saying like it was never anything like that <coughs> And vice versa, like, you know, he getting rid of his baby weight too. And like, we doing it together. It is what it is. That's what marriage is about. Marriage is not just two people see each other on the street. They driven by less. They get together. They start messing with each other. And then anytime this person can come and take your man. Let me tell you something. If any woman that you know has taken somebody's man, if somebody's man got took, he was about to go anyway. You can't take anybody's he meal. Already had a foot out the door anyway. He already had a foot out of the door. If one of y'all thought of relatives, one of y'all grandkids come and y'all was to slide up in my husband's DM, if he responds to you in that manner, he was already out of the door. You're not special. Because the thing is, if if a man can be taken from a woman that he's had children with and been in a relationship with for, for years, then he can be with. taken from you. It's no such thing, bro. You don't take anybody's man. Just like you don't take nobody's woman. That man can't no man, man, can't no little weirdo come around and be like, oh, damn, you fine. What up? No. Can't nobody take me from my husband. My, I don't have one foot out of the door. Like, if if you could put like a, a blue, what you call them things? Purple light, blue light. One of them over me, it's a uh, tie rail all over my body. You know what I'm saying? Sure. But that's it, you guys. Um, in closing, no, I don't think that he's snatchable. Um, maybe they're gonna drug you, baby, and shave off your beard. Y'all gonna date rape me? Y'all gonna date rape me? <laughs> you gonna invite, invite me out to the club with my wife or something for an event and spike my drink? take me in the bathroom if you can take me in the bathroom as big as i am you deserve <coughs> it you deserve it okay because i'm a big man i would be like I girl fat, but i'm a big man okay i'll be like i'm if good girl can, enjoy if you can take me in the bathroom and take advantage of me <laughs> you deserve it girl okay what you gonna say <laughs> <laughs> she try to take my jewels If she can take me in the bathroom, man, you okay. Why do you always gotta be difficult? I'm not being difficult. You are always being difficult. This is what I'm talking about. Y'all can have this him. You. This is you. Why you always gotta be difficult? You always gotta be difficult. 
Your top lip. <laughs> Your top lip. <gasps> so you gonna make fun of my top lip? This the thing. My whole life, it's not my fault. My mom got big lips. First, when we first got married, this used to be her. <laughs> she was mad as hell all the time. <laughs> Like, your little ass down. Nobody's scared of you. Sit your little. You not scared of me. <laughs> 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 I'm like, sit down somewhere. Take a chill pill, brother man. Bro, oh my god. And that's what and that's the thing about marriage. Like you constantly evolving and 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 changing. Because I can honestly say I am not the same woman that I was when we got married. Like, my old self, not even getting into our business, but, like, it's a certain situation that happened. And normally in the past, when a situation like this happened, I would nut up. Like, man, I mean, look, your girl, listen, if y'all really, excuse me, that's how I was going to say I'm telling you, if y'all really knew me, y'all would. I swear to God, if y'all knew me, nobody would ever say anything negative on my on my, on my like YouTube. Probably like half of y'all crazy butts out there talking about oh, you snatching your husband. No, you ain't. You ain't bringing no more crazy in my life. I'm living my best life right now. And you like know. you were stupid. And like if y'all like seriously, if y'all knew, if anybody knew me, especially the sin I used to be, I could guarantee nobody would say anything out of the way to me. Guarantee. But like I have found peace. I have found the Lord. And, <laughs> <coughs> and the Lord. And the Lord. And I've learned um how to control myself. I have learned where my power comes from. And I have learned I've learned how to protect my energy and and how to extract the things that affect my energy. So it was so funny because, like I said, a situation that I normally would have started, like, I mean, crazy. Um, after crazy over, I was, I, like, when I say I didn't even react at all to the point, I came back in the house and he was just looking at me like, I asked him, was he okay? He said, I'm just more than anything. I'm just nervous about you. I said, why? What are you talking about? He like... Because you haven't said anything, like, and you're smiling, like, what is wrong with you? She crazy. So when a crazy person stops doing crazy stuff, you like, oh, sh she about to kill me. <laughs> I need to call somebody. I need to call the FBI, <laughs> the CIA. Somebody has to know that I'm about to die. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. yeah. But the, the definition of insanity is to constantly do the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. And I try to tell everybody all the time, if you haven't if you haven't been in contact with me within this past year, you have no oh, idea me. who I am. You do not know me at all. Like, what is going on with you? Like, you don't know me at all. Like, whatsoever. Because I am a completely different woman than I was when me and him met. He's a completely different man than he was when we met. And life is lit. I've always been a gentleman. Baby, I didn't say. Ooh. And then, no, not, not really. I have a. Being a, listen. I am a gentleman. So, our birthday is the same day. We're both cancers. But I'm the crazy cancer. The one that's like out like. Yeah! And he's. <laughs> No shit. <laughs> no shit. And he's the cancer that's like reserved back in the show. Like, don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. No. Like, don't don't push no, me. I ain't saying that. Baby, would you be quiet? I mean, like, he's just like real chill and calm. But like, if you see him out, like, if you, if he's mad, everybody just be quiet and shut up. Don't move. Say nothing, don't, don't even move. breathe. I don't make no sudden movements until I'm not mad anymore. Cause then somebody gotta die. Just as don't, don't you move. I'm gonna slap the taste out of you right now. He, <laughs> <coughs> he being funny. But All right, y'all. 
He's one of those silent. Don't try to distract us. He one of them silent psychos. Like one of the ones that just be in your room like this. Like he like ghosts. Like. <laughs> but okay, babe, what were we gonna say? I'm about to we about to go, y'all. I gotta go right, with some cough medicine. Stop doing it, man. I'm not a piece of meat. Can't nobody take me. Oh, I thought you were telling me to go. This is that's what the, that's what we're talking about, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, yeah, look, I'm not a piece of meat. Okay? Mm -hmm. You can't take me from somewhere else. You my piece of meat. Okay. You just not a shareable piece of meat. Say that. And you just saying it. Cause so, he my piece of meat. He's just not a shareable piece of meat. No, I'm not. You no. know, no. ooh, people want your man. People in here want ice water, and they feel hot and porched. Okay, just like you, y'all gonna be porched. Cause he my baby daddy. I'm like your baby daddy. He hates it when I call him I'm my not baby, your baby daddy. I'm your husband. I know. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I was just playing. I just wanted to see you. I just wanted to see your jaw clench, even though we can't see it because your beard in the way. But he gonna shave y'all. Like line it up because no. he it grow real fast. Yeah, now I do what I want. He gonna shave. Alright y'all. Peace out. Bye. We would kiss to leave, but I'm sick.